Hey, what's up you guys? Sorry I haven't made a video in forever, but I've been working on these two cages. Uh, this one is completely all brand new, and that one I just resurfaced with some grout because adult dragons like to dig into their background until they reach the foam, so I um, had to cover all that up. Um, this one took a while. It took about three weeks to complete. Um, I get, hope you can see why. It's basically just huge. Um, both of these cages are 3 feet by 2 feet by 18 inches. So 3 feet long, 2 feet deep, and 18 inches high. So that's a lot of space for a baby bearded dragon. So I really hope she loves it. Um, again, this is for my two-legged bearded dragon, Peggy. And... Uh, tried to make it as handicapped accessible as possible uh, so I just kept things low and uh, before I painted it I put her in here and she just got around perfectly fine so um, over here I have some little stair looking things um, got a little bridge right here got some more stair looking things the big basking area with a 30 watt bulb that keeps the basking area at about 30 degrees. I'm gonna have my UV right there. It's all wired up. Um, just gotta get the bulb and put it in there. Uh, have another little staircase thingy. And uh, got a bridge and over to another platform. Uh, this one is kinda big too. It just goes into the corner. I'm sorry I'm using my phone and it's all shaky. It's the only way I can get it in here and get all these different angles. Um, but it, it'll be a good basking spot. Uh, down here I have a big cave thing under it all. And uh, I'll try and turn the flash on. Okay, I can't. Never mind. I um, have some underground thingies and another cave back there and some more stair looking cave things and that's about it got the background got some ventilation I have three inch holes in all three of those thingies so a total of three three inch holes um, got more background and then it sort of fades off you go over here so uh, when I, when this is completely finished, I'm gonna have some alfalfa in here. Uh, Peggy absolutely loves alfalfa. I've tried to put her on tile in the past, and she just can't get any gripping. So because she only has two feet, so um, I'm gonna go alfalfa with her. I've never seen her try to eat it, and she can't even fit it in her mouth. So. Um, but once I have this all finished and I have the glass on the front, my only point of access is this door. So it's going to be a pain to try and get her out at some times, but uh, I think the cage is worth it. I think it looks good. And then this one I'm just going to have for uh, one of my hypotrans females. Um, I'm going to have another separate removable hide here or maybe just a rock I'm not really sure um, what else um, have this main basking area that's not the UV light I painted it so it's not like all glary um, I'll be putting in another light fixture right here for the heat bulb exactly like that one and um, I took out the heating pad on the bottom it just wasn't doing what I wanted it to, so I um, took that out. Um, probably going to have a big rock right here so it can get up here on that basking spot. And uh, that'll be it for this cage. Um, again, I, well, I should probably take this tape off. Not very smart of me. But, uh,. Those are the two newer cages that I made, and uh, just tell me what you think, tell me any suggestions, any anything at all, um, 
before I forget, I have some of these plants that are already cut up and are ready to go in the cage when ready. So um, I'll probably do that tomorrow when all the uh, polycrylic stuff is dry. I seal all my stuff with this stuff. It's $11 a can and it takes me about a can per cage so it's well worth it keeps all the animals safe um, doesn't yellow at all so everybody asks me what I seal it with polycrylic from Minway Minwax whatever I don't know I can't read it's late um, yeah that's about it tell me what you think um, I've got this cage down here which is also pretty neat so you can see what some of the plants will look like and uh, got a little hamster wheel my trans loves the hamster wheel wherever she is yeah there she is on the bottom she loves the hamster wheel um, that's about it uh, yeah tell me what you think I gotta do some remodeling on this cage because I had expanding foam in there and it kept expanding so I gotta do some remodeling on that cage once I get this glass on and uh, then it will be set alright thanks for watching um, again tell me what you think for the gazillionth time and leave a comment click the ad next to it it's free just gives me money so um, thanks for watching